Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Thomas. I'm probably going on tour. Halbert? Back at it again with another video. Yeah, that's right. Oh, I need to... Hold on. Ooh. 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 I did not set my eyelids. That is right. I am going on tour, probably. Now, the probably is because I don't know where to go, and that's where you guys come in. I need you to go to Tour Demand. Hold on, I forgot the link. Hold on, one second. Go to tourdemand.live forward slash Thomas dash Halbert. I'll have it linked on the screen, linked on the screen. I'll have it posted on the screen, linked in my description box, and linked in the pinned comment down below. All you need to do is type in your zip code, request your city, and that will tell me where to go. By the way, if you're outside of like a major city, instead of just typing in your zip code to the small town that you live in, just type in like the major city near you. If you don't know the zip code to that city, just Google it. It'll help us out a lot. Now, I know what some of you are thinking, Thomas, what the hell are you gonna do on tour? And that's a fair question. <laughs> that is where you guys come in, I don't know. <laughs> of course, there's gonna be a meet and greet and all that stuff, but I really wanna make sure you guys get goodie bags. I wanna make sure it's sponsored by a bunch of makeup brands, so it's just like, um, you guys are able to go like, buy a ticket and also get like a bunch of my favorite makeup products when you come to the tour. And I also just really wanna be able to uh, teach a class and have like a master class type of tour. Again, it's tourdemand.live forward slash Thomas dash Halbert. Please request your city. I'm going to promote the hell out of this. So be prepared <laughs> to see this everywhere. Now on to why we're all here. So um, I did some research recently and found out that clearance makeup is a thing. I mean, we've been to new, right? We've been to new that there's clearance makeup, there's clearance makeup at Target, clearance makeup, like every drugstore that sells, any place that sells makeup, there's usually clearance. But at Sephora, you don't really see a clearance. At Ulta, you don't really see a clearance. I mean, you do sometimes, but you're always like, what happens to the makeup that like people use or that gets broken or is like a bad batch or the packaging is off? Where does those batches go? Or when there's a season over, like when the season's done and brands have like product left over that they just don't want to sit in inventory, like where does it go? Turns out it goes to Marshalls. Before I started getting all this PR, if I would have known that my Marshalls had an ABH highlighting palette for half off, I would have been up in Marshalls and not up in Sephora like that. So <laughs> today I'm going to be putting all of this clearance makeup to the test. I went to Marshalls. I did go to Target, but I lost my Target bag. So looks like we're just doing Marshalls today. If you guys want to see a series where I go to TJ Maxx, Ross, Home Goods, any place that sells beauty products for a clearance, let me know and I'll definitely do a series. Because <coughs> when I went to Marshalls, bitch, when I, I was shook. I was just like, who's been holding out on us like this? So you might be thinking, Thomas, you have your base makeup on. Yes, I do. I could not find any concealer or foundation to save my life on clearance that was my shade. I even went to Rite Aid this morning to just just to get a little, just one more little shop in for clearance makeup and nothing, literally nothing in my shade. There was like medium, I see, I could have used those foundation shades, but it would have turned out to be a very problematic video. So, so as you can see, I got a lot. <laughs> can we talk about how I literally got the Aurora palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills? This was originally $42 and I got it on sale for 25. That's almost nearly half off. I think the reason why it was half off is because there is a casualty. Our good sis Eclipse was broken. I'm almost curious to see if this is fake because like who knows, like it could be fake. So I'm gonna pick up, I'm gonna go get my, I'm gonna get the original Aurora palette that I got in PR. And I want to try to compare it to see if it's like fake makeup. See if Marshalls is pulling a fast one on us. Because, um, half off. Unless, was this not permanent? I don't know. We're going to find out. Hold on. BRB. Well, that got canceled real fast. I can't find it at all. I'm still in the process of organizing my makeup collection. So, yeah. Now, I did pick up another highlighting palette. This one is from Smashbox Cosmetics. This is originally $35. 
got it for 20. See, it does seem to have been swatched or used before. If you're like a germaphobe like me, you could just spray the top with alcohol or just wipe off the top with a cotton pad with some alcohol and it should be disinfected. I mean, powders are really hard to infect um, because they're not, they're not um, made with water or whatever. Let me just go ahead and swat. I don't know which ones, which highlighter I want to use. I think I'll do Smashbox on this side and then Aurora on this side. So let me swatch the Smashbox one. This is in, this is the Spotlight palette in gold. I don't know if this is still sold. I could not tell you, sis. Oh. It looks pretty promising. I mean, that's, that's pretty. Looks like there's not, that's very, very subtle. It looks like there's next to no, next to no payoff. Yeah, there's like next to no payoff. So I'm kind of bummed out about that. So let's go into Aurora, which I know will not disappoint me because Anastasia is always sickening with that. And I'm just going to go into the shade Luna. That's what we needed. So another product that I saw, which I can't really try anymore, is this Alginist um, Iridescent. This is like a Glow Drops. And this is originally $18, but I got it on sale for $10. And Alginist is a pretty expensive brand. And they have like these Glow Drops. Now, I don't know if you can see, but the packaging seems a little bit ratted and tattered. Wait. I don't know if you can see that, but the packaging just seems a bit messed up. So I don't know if that's because people have used this before or if it's that if that's just the reason why it's marked down. It's just a broken box and the brand didn't want to put it on shelves at their store and they just want to give it to Marshalls to sell because that is a reason why. Um, so this is the packaging. I've never heard of this brand before or even heard of this product before, but I'm just going to swatch it. Oh yeah. So this is definitely, this has definitely been used before. I don't know if you can see, but there's like product around, oh, it's not even focusing. There's like product around the thing. Just trust me on that one. Um, but I'm just going to swatch this. It's kind of goopy. Like I wouldn't. I wouldn't put that on my face at all. It's pretty, it's very iridescent, but I would never put that on my face. I think it'd be good for like a body glow, um, but I couldn't see that going nicely on the skin. I'm not gonna try it today because I already have powder on my face, but I mean, $10, I don't know. I think it's just cool that they have like these high-end brands that you would find in Sephora or high-end stores and it's like half off. So I did pick up two palettes. I found stuff from Lorac um, and another Smashbox product that like this is originally $44, this Lorac Pro thing, and I got it on sale for $15. So yeah, and this is their Brunch Pro palette comes with a brush. Looks like this brush has not been used before. Pretty brand new, like it has not been touched. This is the palette and then this still has the protectant on there. It has been swatched so I can see fingerprints in there but this is, these are the colors. So then I also found the Smashbox mini palette which is originally $25 and I got it for $15. This is definitely, this might be old. I don't think they might even, they probably don't even sell this anymore. I don't think they sell this anymore, to be honest. It's not that pigmented right off the bat.
Okay. Fixed it. But, um... Okay, so now I'm going to move on to the brunch palette. I'm going to go into the shade Hot Sauce. My only worry with this palette is like, how could I deepen up the crease? So that's where I'm going to go back into this, back into this palette with. And I'm just going to go into this deeper shade to deepen up the crease, obviously. But moving on to lashes, I was shook as the fuck when I saw these up in my Marshalls. Um, Lily Lashes? Because, hold on. Because, first of all, these are expensive. Um, these are expensive as hell. This this was the Lily Lashes for Sephora collection. I do not know how old this is, but this was originally $20. And I got it for $10. Two pairs of lashes for $10. And it looks like these haven't been touched at all. Like, at all. A little ash lash applicator. So, score. <laughs> score. Yeah, that's a lot better. So, you can really see the lashes. I think I'm going to wear these today. Yep, I'm going to wear those today. Bitch, score. So, I'm just going to do my whole little zhuzh. going to apply. I'm going to curl my lashes, apply my mascara, and then apply the lashes. And then I'll come back with y'all with some lip stinks. All right, cool, see you then. Okay, so lashes are on. I will admit they were a little bit difficult to apply, but you know, I think it's just because they had a thicker lash band and they are so densely packed. I don't know how to explain it, but they're just a little bit hard to apply. Not that hard, but you know, not easy either. Anyways, they're really pretty and I think I scored because these are such pretty lashes. Do you see, do you, do you? Do you see what this is? Because damn, bitch, <laughs> these are like on. I live for this. Now let's move on to lipstick. The first product I have via lipstick is a Marc Jacobs lipstick. Hello. This is originally $16 and I got it for $8.99. A Marc Jacobs lipstick. This is high-end luxury product. Okay, stuff that you'll find at Sephora. So this is high-end. This is bourgeoisie type shit. I would be careful with lipsticks at uh, Marshalls. Just like scrape off the top, spray it with some alcohol before you use it because you never know if someone's been a nasty ass bitch and applied it. Um, but this is the packaging. I don't know if this is like an old discontinued, um, an old type of discontinued situation. Uh, but it says Marc Jacobs on it and that's all I care about. Okay. Oh, this was not the color I was expecting at all. I was not, <laughs> I was not expecting this color. I was expecting a brown. Um, but this is the color. It looks fine. Looks pigmented. Going to move on. I am the most hype about the next thing that I found. I found a NYX advent calendar full of lipsticks 24 lipsticks now i get it this was for christmas but um this was originally 40 dollars. got it for 30 wasn't that much of a save. ten dollars i mean i saved a little bit of money but still 30 dollars for 24 lipsticks hello yeah there we go there we go so this so these I don't know if you can see it. I don't even know if they're all in frame, but this is all of the lipsticks that I got for $30. Hello. Hmm. Which color? Oh, one fell out. So I think I'm going to apply this NYX Laundry, even though I hate this formula. I'm going to apply that and then put this and then put this NYX Butter Gloss on top so it's not as horrible. Yep. 
yeah i already know i'm going to need like several coats of this so we shall be here for a while so i barely just filled in my lips with the lip lingerie and now i'm going into the shade trace leches the butter gloss over top and then and then we should just drop that and then we should be done I've never tried NYX lip glosses before and I am impressed I just want to keep applying it it's so comfortable and pretty oh this color is so stunning okay this might be a new fave all right you guys well that is the end of this video i hope you guys found this video pretty helpful and pretty informative and i hope you guys learn like oh i don't have to spend exuberant amount of money on makeup at sephora because you can pretty much find this makeup at marshall's or um you can find this stuff on clearance and most of the stuff was really really good and um i didn't have any issues with anything and i'm just i'm presently surprised i'm kind of obsessed with how my makeup turned out the eyeshadow is you know it's wearing on me i love the love 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 the lashes love the lip gloss i'm pretty pleased with the things that i found at marshall's i don't know let me know in the comment section down below if you guys are actually inter interested in videos like this because i enjoyed making this video and it was super fun and super easy and just yeah i had a lot of fun making this video and anyways I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope it wasn't too quick, too short, or too boring. Again, I am going on tour. Please do not forget to um, request your city. It'll mean a lot to me and I would really appreciate it. I'll have the links again in the description box and in the comment section down below. I'll even put it on an eye somewhere on the video. It'll really mean a lot to me. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I can't wait to see you in my next one. Bye guys. Yeah.